Larry, congratulations yeah. on your induction into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Yeah, thank you, Alan. Um, I have a few questions I want to ask about your background. Okay. I'm going to start off with uh, what individual or individuals had the greatest influence on your coaching career, on your wrestling career? That would be my college coach, Cliff Keane. And uh, he was a coach at Michigan. And he would be the guy. Do you have an idol? I don't have any idols, no. I don't have any idols. Okay. How did you get started in wrestling? How I got started? Uh, I just went out and, uh, you know, they had a call for a wrestling team. So I went out and uh, I... Uh, it was very hard. I got bounced around, beat the hell out of me. You know, I got my ass pinned in the first five matches. Now, was this in high school or college? This was in high school when I was a freshman. And that was the end of my freshman year. And I never lost after that. Wow. No. Uh, until you went to college? Uh, next time I lost, I was in college. You're right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, so after your freshman year, right. you never lost after that? Never. In high school? No. Okay. Yeah. What do you attribute your wrestling success to? What do I attribute to? Uh, just the kind of work ethic that we had on, uh, probably in high school, because I went to a real rah-rah high school. And it was rah rah all over the place, and that the way the teams were. Was that in Michigan? No, that was in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, went to a school called South Division, and it had uh, 500 boys and 1,500 girls, <laughs> and uh, we won everything. You named the sport, and we won it. You must have had a lot of motivation. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is there one outstanding uh, situation or memory that you have involving wrestling? Uh, I can't remember any particular memory or situation. Uh, I, uh, it's been so long ago. What's your best? memory or uh, achievement? My best achievement uh, I would be uh, when I was a senior in high school I won the Midwest AAU no, Midwest Olympic Trials and uh, beat the Big Ten champ and I beat the guy who became a silver, silver medalist wow. unfortunately that didn't carry on because I kind of got my butt whipped when I went into the final trials. But it was a good, pretty, in I was a kid, a senior in high school, it was a pretty interesting. That's different. As a coach or a wrestler, is there one match or dual meet that stands, stands out in your mind? No, well, there are just so many. Yeah. Uh, Over the years. Yeah, or they, not they one, really are. Yeah. Uh, I think best memories are the, our practices and our, uh, you know, the camaraderie and the practices okay. and the, uh, we used to have fun runs where we'd run up the mountain and stuff like that. Those are my best memories. <laughs> Why did you decide to become a wrestling coach? Uh, I think they just said we need somebody to do this. Does anybody know how to do it? <laughs> I said, I do. And that's how. That's when you came out to Vacaville High. That's yeah. when I came to Vacaville High, yeah. yeah. I'm an English teacher, and uh, uh, they just were looking for a guy, and so I said, I'll, I'm your guy. If you could start it all over again, what would you do differently as a coach or as a wrestler? I don't think I'd do anything differently. I would uh, try to do a better job 
uh, it's the uh, it just gets in the it's the intensity I mean like in the, the matches and the practices and the kids it, it's 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 just gripping and it really gets in the you really get focused into that what would you like people to remember about you well, just a coach who uh, did a good job that's that's it and lastly how has wrestling contributed to your life well I'll give you a, a sense of values a work ethic it gives you an outlook that no matter what you'll just keep going Larry sincerely congratulations yeah, yeah. into your induction of well, Hall of Fame well deserved yeah thank you Alan thank you